Hey folks, Greenbird here. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video update on uh, my new job. So this is sort of a time capsule video. I'm just going to put that out there right now as a disclosure, disclaimer. So if you're here to find uh, any information about flint napping or anything uh, exciting beyond that, uh, I'll just let you know right now you can shut it off and go to my next video or one of my other videos because this is going to be uh, sort of just like, like I said, a time capsule or a recording that I can reflect back on later. My family can reflect back on later. Uh, should I not be able to convey this information to them? So, um, job's going fantastic. I love it. And first of all, I want to apologize. Um, I usually have my sunglasses. I can't find them. Uh, if you probably noticed, my eyes look a little bit weird. I am recovering from what I think was an allergic reaction that then went into an infection because of uh, rubbing my skin so raw. It took me a, a long time to, to fully recover for it, about a month, a uh, month and a half maybe even, and I still, the corners of my eyes are still, you know, the skin is real thin and it's, but it looks worse than it is, I, I guarantee you that. So anyway, if I look like a zombie, that's why, I'm fine, no need to worry. So, uh, I'm in my training phase right now. It's been about, it's my first week and, um, by training, I mean I'm not even. I haven't even trained on the job that I'm going to be doing. I've been training just to be an employee of the company. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? But you know that, that's the way it is. So my my initial thoughts on the company, and you'll see me looking down. I took some notes because I only want to do this once. I don't have a lot of time, so I don't want to do any editing. I don't want to have to pause the video and start over again. I just want to get this done with. Um, my my training has been, like I said, just observing and uh, filling out tons and tons of paperwork. I spent my first really three days doing nothing but filling out paperwork. Safety paperwork, uh, safety presentations, quality presentations, um, confidentiality disclosures, um, found out I can go to prison if I do my job wrong, all kinds of crazy happy things, but it is what it is. So. Um, I guess just to share a little bit of the, of, you know, the internal part of this first week is a lot of uh, crazy feelings that, have, that I've experienced through this. Uh, as you, most of you know, this is way different than anything I've ever done. Uh, I've been a desk jockey for the last probably 25 years, and now I'm going full circle, the opposite, into uh, the manufacturing world. And I'm excited because it's a it's a great opportunity and an amazing company that I'm working for. And it's not just a button pushing job. I mean, I'm, there's a lot to it, and that's probably why uh, you know the pay is what it is. But anyway, so uh, the first week was a combination of feeling like I'm constantly in the way, not knowing where I'm going, can't find my own department because the place is like the size of 11 WalMarts. Um, that's gotten a little bit better. Um, not knowing what I'm supposed to look for, a lot of anxiety, a lot of, of I, I, am I going to be able to do this? A lot of, um, you know, questioning myself, did I make the right decision? Should I have not done this? Um, all natural feelings, I think. Um, so there were several times when I was like, I don't think this is going to work. I think I should probably reevaluate my decision. But the people, that work for the company, the people, they're so amazing. And part of what makes me feel like I, um, you know, I can give this a shot and I can do this, and I know I can. I mean, there's such a huge demographic there, or I don't think demographic's the right word. Um, there's a huge variety of different age groups, um, skill sets. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how to word it, so I'm just gonna tell you. So they're, one person I trained with, it's their very first job. Another person I trained with, um, you know, came out of a, not the same environment as me, but a different environment where it's, it's new to them. You know, I look around, I see people that are more mature later on in their career. I see younger kids that, or I say kids, I just, I need to stop saying that. But younger people, you know, I see people who, you know, maybe that judgmental stereotype in your brain makes you think, you know, how could this person have a job like this, which is it's a terrible trait to have, and it's something we should all try and scrub our brains from, uh, you know, because everybody is should not be judged by our stereotypes and by their appearances. 
So in talking to everybody, you know, I really got a great feeling about the company and a lot of support um, and really helped me embrace that uncomfortable feeling. And I've learned a lot from it and I, you know, it's like it brought me back to a concept in a video that I did a long time ago that I sort of forgot about, about being uncomfortable and being in those positions. And I'm not going to talk too much about it because I think I'm going to do a video on it actually. But I um, just wanted to let everybody know, especially Emily, if you're watching this, no matter when you're watching it, embrace the uncomfortability of a new experience. Uh, don't ever think that you're not going to be able to adjust to any situation at all, because that's what holds us back. That's what keeps us from growing. That's what keeps us from doing the things that we're capable of doing, but we don't because we're stuck in our little comfortable box, which once you get outside of it, you realize it's not really that comfortable after all. So I don't want to ruin my next video. But anyway, guys, just wanted to give you a quick update. The job is going great. I finally know where I'm going. I finally know how to get to my department. I know how to get to the cafeteria. I think I know how to at least start doing some of the position that I'm going to be doing. I start actually hands-on training, I think, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. I still have a bunch more book work to do and tests to take and who knows there's probably more I don't know about I'm recording this on a Saturday I think Saturdays are gonna be the, the days that I that I do that I record the videos I don't know when I'm gonna post them maybe Sunday Monday Tuesday who knows depends on my schedule um, right now I'm on a second shift schedule so it makes it kind of tough for me to do anything during the day because I spend the morning hours doing what I would normally do in the afternoon and then I get home in the afternoon it's too late to record it's dark out and um, but that will all change about October when I actually go into my, my full shift. And we'll talk more about that. So anyway, again, just a time capsule video. So you know, be nice to me in the comments. Anyway, hope everyone's doing awesome. I hope everyone's uh, where they want to be in life. And take a second to find someone that you care about and just tell them that you love them. You, only, you know, you never know. You never know when it, when it is the last time that you're going to see them. So take advantage of every moment you have. All right, Greenbird out.